Hello everyone, it's time for a TikTok. Well, Thanksgiving has been celebrated in some way, shape or form in America since October 1620. It was only in 1863 that Abraham Lincoln declared the last Thursday of November to be celebrated as the national holiday of Thanksgiving and praise in an effort to bring the country together. Today, we will explore works of art that celebrate this wonderful holiday. First, we have Home to Thanksgiving by artist John Shuttler, which depicts a young, well-dressed man returning by fancy coach from his big city job to his parents' idyllic country home for the holiday feast. The artist created a hand-colored lithograph that was then printed by Courier and Ives, which was one of the foremost printing establishments in the 19th century, and this was one of its most popular prints. A lithograph is a picture that has been printed from a stone or a metal plate with a smooth surface. Our next painting, titled Thanksgiving, is by Doris Lee, one of the most successful women painters from the Depression era. She managed to capture in this painting the most common Thanksgiving Day experience imaginable, a kitchen in chaos, as is evident from the hustle and bustle and underfoot pets seeking scraps. Nowadays, we buy our turkey from the store or a farm, but a long time ago, one had to awkwardly chase a live bird around a pen in the frigid November air as is aptly depicted in this painting, Catching the Thanksgiving Turkey by folk artist Anna Mary Robertson Moses, better known as Grandma Moses. Norman Rockwell's Freedom from Want is perhaps one of the most iconic depictions of an American Thanksgiving ever made. There's a family gathered around a table, a beautiful turkey dinner at its center, and the sheer number of smiles all around. The painting was part of a series inspired by Franklin D. Roosevelt's 1941 State of the Union address in which the president outlined the freedoms Americans should be thankful for. Freedom of speech and worship and freedom from want and fear. Inspired by an advertisement for Turkey in a grocery store circular, the artist Roy Lichtenstein made the perfect pop art rendering of a well-browned bird and naturally titled his painting, Turkey. The artist also reproduced this image on a canvas bag three years later for the 1964 exhibition, American Supermarket. Next, we have Macy's Day Parade by Joseph Delaney. Thousands of people flock to the streets of Manhattan to watch the annual Macy's Day Thanksgiving Day Parade with even more tuning in to watch the event's signature oversized balloon animals bob down Fifth Avenue on TV. Delaney produced scenes of street life and celebrations throughout his life, mainly parades, especially after he moved to New York City in 1930. Self-taught Oklahoma-born artist Robert Taylor draws on his heritage to create his paintings that often depict Native American figures like this one titled Thanksgiving. In our last painting by John Curran titled Thanksgiving, there are several aspects of the scene of three women gathered around a kitchen table preparing a Thanksgiving feast that are a bit unreal. Their excessively long necks, not unlike the turkeys perhaps, the ways of roses that most certainly get in the way of actually doing any prep work, and the marble Corinthian columns in the background that probably wouldn't be found in an average American home. But what is real is the unmistakable pale luster of an uncooked bird and the pink juices that gather on the plate underneath it. For our art project for today, I was inspired by Royal Lichtenstein's Pop Art Turkey and we will be making our own Pop Art Turkeys, brightly colored Pop Art Turkeys. For this, you will need a white paper, a pencil, an eraser, and some markers or crayons. To begin, we will start by drawing the head of the turkey. And I always like drawing with pencil first. Just in case, case I make any mistakes, I can always erase them. Next, we will draw the body of the turkey. Now, the eyes, a beak for my turkey, 
and the fleshy bits on the side. I'm also going, going to draw a circle in the center of the body. Now the legs of my turkey. Next, I'm going to draw all of the colorful feathers around my turkey. Now for this, I first like to make a rough guide. I'm going to draw a semicircle so that I know where my feathers are going to be. Next, I'm going to draw big wide feathers all around my turkey. I'm also going to draw something for my turkey to stand on at the bottom. Now I'm going to draw different patterns and designs in all of the feathers and I'm going to try to make them look as bright and colorful as, as I possibly can. So you could, you could do anything, you could draw spirals or, or triangles, stripes or circles, um, zigzags or stars and make sure to use bright colors um, so that you make your artwork really pop. Next, I'm going to use markers to brightly color my designs and my patterns. Now, after you've colored in all of your designs and your patterns, what I like to do is I like to take a black marker and outline my turkey. Just like I've done here. So that you can see all the contrasting colors nicely. And once you've finished your project, you can hang it in your home for your family to see, or you can hang it in your window for your neighbors to see. Well, I had a lot of fun making this project. I, you, I, I hope you have as much fun making this project as I did.